What's going on everyone? So today we're going to be changing the running boards on the truck and reason being this might sound actually really silly and I don't know if anyone else has really ran into this issue and I could have solved it really really simply actually but I don't know I don't like the look of these running boards and I'd rather change the look up but main reason when these things get the tad bit wet or slick I slide right off of them. So these are the OEM running boards. They came on the truck when I bought it. Yes, I'm wearing sandals. And well, I don't like chrome. I'm not a huge chrome guy. And I will be changing the grill. As I mentioned in one of my previous videos, I have a platinum grill that I'm going to be color matching to the truck. Eventually, I want to get rid of the chrome bumpers and the wheels. Mm, we'll see about size, but I would like to get rid of the chrome wheels and the chrome handles. So eventually down the road, we're gonna be changing all the chrome on the truck, little by little. First thing to go are the running boards. Now I did buy a set of running boards off eBay. They were less than 200 bucks and well, as you can see here, I did paint them with bed liner. I could have easily solved my traction issue with these running boards by just painting them with bed liner. But I think these ones are gonna look a lot cooler on the truck. And like I said, they were less than 200 bucks. The paint I got from Harbor Freight years ago. Well, let me roll the clip of me painting these to show you guys the texture that these were when they came. All right, so I already painted the two running boards here and the steps. I got these two painted. As you can see, they have texture and these two. So this is how it actually originally came. And I haven't painted these yet, as you can tell. And the welds, well, the quality isn't the best, but for 180 about $200, eh, I wasn't expecting to get a whole lot. And this is why I'm actually bedlinering it, is to kind of hide the welds a little bit. And I am also going to coat the backside, like on the insides as well, to help with rust, because I'm sure the coating isn't the greatest as well. So I want to try and prevent rust for as long as possible. So I'm doing this now in the beginning, so I don't have to do it later and take it all off and redo it. Plus it will give it that cool textured bed liner look. And the paint itself isn't textured. It's just the bed liner paint from Harbor Freight actually. I bought this years ago and just never got around to putting it on my old truck. So, well, now it sits. And you have to use one of these rollers. I actually bought a full length one and just cut it down. And it's kind of hooked, like it's looped, and this is what's giving it that textured finish, which I would say it's doing a pretty good job. But again, I'm gonna brush in the inside, so like the back sides. But anyways, I'm gonna finish this up, and then we'll get back to the video of me installing it where it's all nice and dry. So, as you can see, the texture was there, but it wasn't very grippy, and this is, as you can see, very texturized. So I shouldn't be sliding off of this. Now honestly, this paint wasn't too bad. We gotta start by removing these running boards. Should be just a few bolts underneath. And it is very dirty under here. And I do have rust starting on the pinch welds, which I'll have to take care of at some point. So we got these two bolts right here. And then these two bolts right here. And then two and two and these side steps will come right off. So let me start by removing these and then we'll start mocking those ones up to install it. Should be a simple job. So I just removed the driver's side and I remember I did this with my Ranger because I ended up painting the running boards on my old Ranger. And I like the look without the running steps or running boards or side steps, whatever you guys call them. I like the look without them, I do. It makes the truck look taller. I can still get in and out, passengers not so much. But the thing is, if you're off-roading or doing something where you're kicking up a lot of stuff or you're driving by something that you might not see, you're going to get it right in the rocker, right in the door. I like having running boards because I use them as kind of rock sliders, like a poor man's rock slider. And that's why I got the style that I did because these are going to be nicely tucked up near the body of the truck and the frame with just little steps off the side. And I can always remove these steps separately and just leave these guys and just plug up the holes with either a cap or just leave it how it is. And these will act as rock sliders. 
But anyways, we have to start installing the brackets on the truck itself and then we'll start bolting up everything else and I'll do that right now. So before I start bolting everything up, this kit is actually, so besides the welds not being the greatest or the highest quality, but again, under 200 bucks, it comes with all new hardware, all the hardware for the side steps and sort of instructions. So we'll be using all new hardware. Don't reuse the old stuff. Could be rusty or what have you. So now I will start putting everything in. All right, so the instructions aren't super clear on which bolts to put where and what nuts and washers to use. But I have this piece on and it's sticking out a little further than I was hoping. But you know what, it actually looks a lot better than what's what it used to be. We just gotta install these steps now and it's good to go. But honestly, if I wanted to, I don't have to put these on because, well, granted the truck's on ramps, but I can always use this to get in and out of the truck. But I'm not going to. I'll put the rest of the steps on. But I was, I did have to reuse the old clips because, well, the old clips used to be right here and I put them on the bracket itself so the bolt goes into the bracket because otherwise you won't have enough nuts. These four right here are for the other side because you need the nuts to bolt the main piece to the bracket itself. But otherwise I have this all tightened up. Gonna put these steps on, just bolt them in and they come with separate bolts and screws. So, ow, I just hit my head. So I'm gonna put those on right now and then the passenger side I'll do off camera and then show you guys the finished product here. All right, so I just wrapped up the passenger side and you know, now that they're on, again, I know I only spent like 180 bucks on these guys, but they stick out kind of far, like these steps do. And the texture was my thing just because I didn't want it slipping. But these steps I feel are a little bit too much that way. They could be this way a little bit more, which I can always drill new holes and remount them. But for me, honestly, I can step here instead of stepping here. I could step here and it's fine for me. But any shorter passenger would want to step here. And yeah, they seem a little flimsy. But I'm going to see how I feel about them. I'm going to keep them on for now. Drive around, use them. And if I really, really don't like them, I'll go back to my OEM running boards. But honestly... The running boards I truly want to get are off the Raptor. I want to get the Raptor running boards, not the knockoffs. I want to get the Ford OEM Raptor ones, but I don't want to order them through Ford. And the ones I keep finding for sale are for the Super Crew and not the Super Cabs. Which, I could get the Super Crews, they'll fit, but it'll come out to here. Which might actually be helpful since I have the toolbox. So we'll see if I find a cheap set of the Super Crew or Super Cab Raptor steps. But honestly, for now, I actually kind of like it when you stand about here-ish away from the truck. I do like them. I like the style, but eh. For 180 bucks, this is what you're going to get. I don't want to spend 500 or 800 or even like $2,000 on running boards knowing they're going to get beat up or rusty down the road anyways. But anyways, so that's it for this video. And... As you can tell, I'm not fully happy with these side steps. But you live and you learn, right? Honestly, because I didn't see these on anybody else's truck, so I didn't really know what they're going to look like. And I want to try them out, see what I think. And maybe they'll grow on me. If they don't, worst case scenario, like I said, I'll rip them off, throw on my other ones. But I'm still going to be looking for those Raptors. And if you guys know anybody selling the Raptor style for the Super Cab, for this generation truck let me know because i would like to pick them up and i'm not wanting to spend a lot of money i want to try and keep it under 400 dollars, maybe 200 that would be awesome but anyways i'll end this video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did go ahead and give it a big thumbs up if you didn't go ahead and give it a dislike but let me know what i can prove on for next video and as always if you haven't done so already please consider hitting that subscribe button and i will catch you later bye